alagbara no lorun mi o agbara 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 ipo o agbara alagbara no lorun mi o agbara 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 ipo o agbara alagbara no lorun mi o agbara 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 ipo o agbara alagbara no lorun mi o agbara 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 ipo o agbara Alagbara ni Jesu mi o agbara 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 ipo o agbara this evening i am praying that god should give me uh the coordination and the wisdom to put into prayers into okay to put into prayer points the the kind of of spiritual anger i have for the devil and for the kingdom of darkness now for the assault that the enemy and not just assault and the insult that the enemy has wrought and is still doing in the life of many people many christians so christians so because when ignorance reigns, bondage is solidified. When ignorance takes root, bondage becomes perpetual. When ignorance takes root, bondage be, it begins to appear as if it's eternity. Amado katabali gabiada. Alagbara no lorumi o agbara agbara o agbara ipo o agbara alagbara no lorumi o agbara agbara o agbara ipo o agbara ah jiova e katuza le bragado kete manakata Ye grados de limani karubia de casa le dege shumaladia. I'm going to read the scripture for you. Let me read the scripture for you from the book of Nahum. Go there. I like you to mark. I will read two scriptures. I like you to mark it. Mark these two scriptures because I will use them to pray for you. But I need you to use them to pray also for yourself and for your family. In the book of Nahum, Lord help me. Yedoko Shabarada Katesi Adaba. Nahum chapter 3. Jesus. Nahum chapter 3, verse 4. Nahum chapter 3, verse 4. It reads on a quote Because of the multitude of the hordons, of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft. The word witchcraft here is in the plural. The mistress of witchcraft that select nations. Listen, there are nations, there are countries that have already been sold. They've collected change on those countries. Ah, eyadeka anakuriabeka saida madokata. Look at it. Look at it. He said they sell nations through her hordons and they sell families. Are you hearing what I'm saying, people of God? This witchcraft, this mistress of witchcraft, sell families also through her witchcraft. Ah, Mando Kosheli Adabagayada. We have to pray. Before I read the next scripture, there are families that have been sold. There are people, there are people, their business have been sold. Not in the, not be the seller. <laughs> they are not the one who sold their business. I, I just, look, I want to go as the spirit leads me this evening. They were not the one that sold their business, but their business was sold in the realm of the spirit. There are some people, their hand touched evil money. And from that day, 
the evil began to happen to their business and to their finances. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? And as long as you don't know, he said, my people are gone into captivity because they do not know. So you see, the strength of bondage is ignorance. Is ignorance. Because they don't know. And, and bondage and captivity will continue until knowledge comes. Until you know, until your eyes is open. Until light comes. He said that she has sold nations. And they keep doing economic formula, economic meeting, economic this. They, she has sold families. Do you understand? She has sold families. There are families that have been sold. And the poverty in those families cannot be explained. The bondage and the afflictions in that family cannot be explained because they've been sold. They've been sold. Some people, their health has been sold. 20 minutes is not enough for me to explain what I'm talking about, but I will lead you into some prayers. Listen to me. Those who never believe in spiritual warfare when we started leading dangerous prayer and spiritual warfare, today they have massive ministry, but they are beginning to see the realities of some things that they never believed before. And now they are like, ah, this is in the Bible too. Listen, where, where you have not gotten to, that it is because you have not gotten to somewhere, that is why you are complaining and contradicting some biblical truth. He says she sold nations. It doesn't matter who sits in the seat of power. As long as the nation is sold, that nation, the person sitting there, and the whole nation have to return. They have to come to the realization that they were sold. And the scripture says in the book like that, he said you were sold for, for not, he said you shall be redeemed without money. He didn't say you shall be redeemed without price. You shall be redeemed without money. But there is a price. And your prayer can be the price for the redemption of your family. For the freedom of your life. Listen, stop all this religion. Face the reality of spiritual life, spirituality. Things that are real in the realm of the spirit may not be able to be explained in the laboratories of men. There are some people they will toil. They've been toiling, they've been suffering, they've been hustling, they will toil. They have done everything to break, they couldn't. The only thing they've not done is that they've not destroyed the laziness in their prayer life. Keleba, Kuriane Kasai Dabada. Life is founded in power. In the beginning, God created this world and founded it was power that invaded the world. And from that time, this world has been a battleground for powers. In the name that is above every other name. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. Every power that have sold your family, every power of witchcraft that have sold for me, and that is still selling people. I destroy their hold over your life, over your family, in the name of Jesus. Listen, so many years ago. Can I tell you this? Some years back, uh, somebody told me, he said, uh, I am your father's brother's uncle, so, so, and so. You know, he was just mentioning he, he, when you were born, you were still very small. Anytime I see some kind of things like that, I just take off. I just take off. There are some people I don't want to come. Some people don't need to know your address. You are too, you, you say, oh, no, those, those things don't matter. There are some people that don't need to know your children. They don't need to see them. If they see them, the vow of witchcraft they made, that nothing good will come out of Nazareth, we wake up, I'm telling you. 
I decree today. Sometimes there are some people are running away from their village. They are not running away because of uh, from the village. No, the problem is not with the village. The problem is with those who know them rich inside their house. There are some people, the napkin that they used to bath them as babies is in the hand of some people. Come on, I pray for you now. In the name that is above every other name, do Kale Baruga Saida Makata. I destroy every mistress of witchcraft. Are there that have received contracts to, de to devalue your spiritual life, to devalue your financial life, to devalue your life, to destroy your destiny? I, I pray now. Let fire answer. Let fire answer. In the name of Jesus. Let me quickly show you something. Genesis. Let's quickly read this in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. Genesis 27, verse 40. Holy Spirit. Ah, Makato Dabagada. Yeketo. How I wish someone can read it from the amplified version. Pastor Lani, do you have amplified Bible or, or um, Minister Rose? Do you have amplified? Bible version, since we are only this amplified Bible version, someone can just read from the amplified. But let me read it from King James, and then you read from the amplified. He said, And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Does somebody have the amplified Bible there? Kado shadiada, rabagado sekete lima, ikato jaliada gada. Yeketo, we are reading Genesis chapter twenty-seven, verse forty. Someone read from the amplified version for me, please. But I you believe. shall live by your sword. Wait, he said, but you shall live by your sword. What does it mean to live by your sword? It means that if you don't fight, you will die. Pastor, hold on. If you don't fight, you will. There are some people, if they don't fight, they will die. They will kill you. Do you know that there are families? Any good thing that arises from the family must die. Oh, there are families that swallow good things that come up. Meanwhile, there are families. Any immediately one person become rich. That one person will do everything. Even if he meet the last drop of his blood, he will make sure he rise, he raise all the other younger ones, all the other elder ones. Before you know what is happening, everybody will become wealthy. Everybody will now begin to have an independent, be, begin to live, have independence. But there are some families. <laughs> race, race, race person, no. Once they see a star rising, they will kill the star. Your family may not be like that. So don't condemn this thing I'm talking about. There are powers that does not want to see good things in the lives of some people. I pray for you today. Do you know there are some people? There are some people. That's what the Bible is saying. When he said, he said, it is your sword you will use to survive. Meaning, if you don't fight, they will fight you. Ah, Kamali Adagada. Pastor, read on. Read, read, on. read it from the beginning again. Makato Siada. Okay. But you shall live by your sword uh -huh. and serve your brother. Ah! Uh -huh. Go on. However, it shall come to pass uh -huh. when you shall break loose uh -huh. from your hunger and hatred. Uh -huh. That you will tear his yoke off your neck. Hey, hey. hey la He said, when you shall have the dominion, I'm going to King James, when you shall break free from the same thing that is running in that family, which is anger and the oppressions of the of witchcraft, he said, then you shall be free. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. In the name that is above every other name. I don't know what is running in your family. Negativity running in the family. Negative thing running. If I, I beg you, in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, give me the permission. Let us enter into the 
foundation of your family. In the name of Jesus, if truly I be a man of God, and if God has called me into the ministry of setting the captives free, I have the permission to day to enter into your family. I decree and I declare every power that makes people, they have to suffer and suffer before they survive. They will suffer. Some will even die according to our first sister that lady prayer. They will even die. They will not even enjoy it. I decree today let the oppressions of witchcraft, a CC Lamandia, the mistress of witchcraft, I decree death upon them. I command them to be cut off. I command their oppressions to scatter. I command their yokes to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ada Kamondia Lagada. Do I have your permission to enter your family? There are different permissions that people have. There are permission by marriage. There are permission because you were born there from that in that family. There are permission because you allow you allow your pastor to enter into the foundation of your family or the family you married into. Or you married from. In the name of Jesus, if I get your permission in the realm of the spirit, I today leverage on that permission legally in the realm of the spirit. And I decree now, let every legal captive be set free from you, that family, from the grip of darkness, from the hold of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. Aleke. Enema. Kuria de kata. Lese seketeba. Rose kete libragada. So many years ago. A pastor told me. He said, any time I am making love with my wife. He said, my wife begin to behave like someone that is having a marine spirit. I said, describe for me. He says, sir, before she will make love with me, she will begin to behave like someone who is manifesting. And then after she finishes having sex with me, she, be, she will do it again. She will behave like someone that is manifesting. I said, Pastor, you are finished. I told him, and that was what I told him. I said, you are finished. You married someone from the kingdom of darkness. I said, sir, tell her to come for deliver. T today, she never saw faith for deliver. T today, and as I'm talking to you now, there is no child, no issue. She cannot because she have any other. And this man of God is anointed. Listen, anointing without knowledge. Anointing if, when ignorance baptizes your anointing, you know, <laughs> when ignorance baptizes anointing, you will think you can see, but you cannot see. There are things happening under your nose that you cannot fathom. I pray for you. I come with your permission in the realm of the spirit. Whatever image that entered into your house, somebody in this platform now, there was an image, there was a personality that entered into your house last night. He entered. Immediately that personality entered into your House, the house is in Winnipeg. As he entered into your house, you immediately you started feeling... You, you know, uh, you've got a feeling, a kind of cold in your body. Oh my God. Katia, Leko Simara, Katia, Let. It is a new assignment that they have assigned for that demon to come and fulfill. Now, in the name of Jesus, if I have your permission, because you are on this platform, I decree and I declare, let the fire of heaven begin to destroy and begin to disgrace and begin to expose every satanic spiritual messenger of wickedness. In the name 
name of Jesus. Elebo shamana ma eleke leke te ke te ke te le breke to kate liyadaga e breke to zokatiba le krugo de gede e meko to ziga diada le kroko to gose le kreke to zakatuma e meke tuza e krogo de gedo e krogo to gede ma eleke te eleke to ramaga ramade eleku diamade beshuna marokota e ma se e ma se to the wife. He said, look, you know something happened between them. And the man, a very strong Christian, the man look at the wife. You say, you know, you know, my head not correct. You know, say my head not correct. You know, say my head not correct. I take soko to liba. I take take te zianama. And when the wife told me, I said, ah. That is a big trouble. That is a big trouble. That is a big trouble. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Any trace, any trace of limitation at the Kuria Bakata, Resesemele, Leketebe, Lepregete, that can be traced to your family limitations. Today, as I pray, in the name of Jesus, let those yoke break. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Scatter that which makes you to return back to what is not of Christ. Right now, I decree be deprogrammed, be deprogrammed from that spiritual oppression of darkness, of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mando le brege do kosa mekete kete kete yada. As I round up this prayer, I told you twenty minutes is not enough to do this kind of prayer. But let me let me say a lot of things is happening already in the realm of the spirit. There need to be a troubling of the water for the water to be made suitable for miracle for healing. Ateke solia makata ya le brege de ge do shala brege. It is not everybody that should have your phone number. Don't you get it? Can't you understand that this world we are living is spiritual, it's not physical? You are relating to everything to natural. Oh my God, that is why there are there is a lot of anomalies. You do, you may not see it now. There are some people they are sitting on gunpowder, time bomb. Do you know what is time bomb? The bomb did not explode. Now they program it. They program the time bomb. They look when it get to that junction, explode. It is it is programmed. Can I pray for you in the name that is above every other name? Every mistake you may have made ignorantly or innocently. And the enemy want to use it against you, or they are already using it against you. I pray now. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I decree and I declare, let the counsel of the wicked scatter. Hey! Let the counsel of the wicked scatter. Let their organization be disorganized. Let their conspiracy backfire against them. In the name of Jesus. And they sat down. And when they saw him, and when he was yet a great way off from there, and they saw him, they conspired against him. Let evil conspiracies scatter. Let evil conspiracies scatter. Let familiar, familiar conspiracy Oh my God. Let familiar conspirators scatter in the name of Jesus. They conspired against him that they might slay him. That which is looking for your neck. That which is looking for your head. That which is looking for your blood. I pray now in the name of Jesus. They will not succeed in your life. In the name of Jesus. And they conspired that they might slay him. And as he come near to them, they said among themselves, Behold, the dreamer cometh. And they get shula biadakata. In the name that is above every other name, every spirit of delay, every spirit of delay. Are you hearing me? Hear me now. Every spirit of delay hanging around anyone on this platform now. I decree and I declare, you will not use your ear to hear good, and it will not happen to you. I decree now, let delay break. Let the yoke of delay break. Let the witchcraft power of delay be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I thank you. Blessed be your name forever. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you praise. I give you glory. Blessed be your name forever. 
Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of days. I worship you. I worship you. Mando Kosotelegelia. Ibarakatoje. Ba 